sisters here today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please put your hands together and help me welcome Miss Kayla Colonia. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your 2017 Central Florida Fair. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Woo! I think we can do a little bit better than that. Are you guys ready to have some fun? Woo! Awesome. That's what I like to hear. Now, before we get started, guys, I have a quick question for all of you. By a show of hands, how many of you guys like dinosaurs? Awesome, that's what I like to see. Because millions and millions of years ago, there were thousands of different species of dinosaurs that lived all across the world. Some of them walked on land, some of them swam in the sea, and some of them made the sky their natural habitat. That's where I'm going to start with you guys today is in the sky. The first creature I'm going to talk to you about was classified to be a reptile with wings. He could be over 20 feet long from one end of his wing all the way to the other end of his wing. And when he was standing, he could be over 9 feet tall. He also had a long pointy beak. Can anyone here tell me who they think I'm talking about? Do you know? Very close. This one started with the pterodactyl. Very wait, 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 wait. Somebody call me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Terry, our pterodactyl. Hi, everybody. How are you doing today, Terry? I'm doing good. How are you, Miss Kayla? I'm doing pretty good. How have you enjoyed the fair so far? Oh, let me tell you. I have eaten so many cheeseburgers. I'm stuffed. <laughs> Now, for the exact same reasons that a pterodactyl couldn't fly fast or high, their number one predator happened to be the T-Rex. Wait, 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 what? The T-Rex. He can literally snap them right out of the sky. Wait, no, 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 where is the T-Rex? He's inside. Somebody say a T-Rex. Are you okay? Table of fossils. The first fossil I'm going to show you guys is pretty cool. Unfortunately, I have to start it off kind of low. This one we actually have a little bit of bad news about. When we found this footprint, we were unable to find any other evidence that went with it to exactly determine the dinosaur it belonged to. But what I can tell you is that it belonged to a group of erythiopod dinosaurs. And I can tell you about erythiopods is that they were herbivore dinosaurs. This type of herbivore would actually walk around on two legs versus where most herbivore dinosaurs would walk around on four legs. Now who here can tell me what an herbivore dinosaur eats? Do you know? Plants, very good. Brontosaurus, very good job. Now I actually happen to have one for you guys to meet today. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please put your hands together for my two month old baby Brontosaurus. His name is Jack. Hi Jack. You can also say aww. Yeah, he's a little shy, but it's okay. He'll warm up to everybody, won't you? He's so cute. Now while Jack is out here, feel free to come up. You can say hello to him. Hey guys, a couple of things about the Brontosaurus that you may not have known. They could get up to over 70 to 90 feet tall, over 100 feet long from neck to tail. They were very, very beautiful creatures and their teeth were spoon shaped type of teeth. They would use their teeth to grab the stem and pull the leaves off of it versus just chomping down on the branch itself. Now another thing about the Brontosaurus is that they were related to all different kinds of dinosaurs. They were not just the only ones with long necks. Another dinosaur that had a long neck was called the Brachiosaurus. And the difference between a Brachiosaurus and a Brontosaurus were their noses. As you can see, Jack's nose is located right up front where a normal nose would be. Can you do that for me? Do it. Perfect. So see, when we pull out our next guest, she's going to need that bell to keep her distracted. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we're good. As long as you stay in this square and ring that bell, you'll be fine. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Lucy. Lucy is our five-year-old Velociraptor. She is a bit of a handful, but as long as Miss A here has the bell, we'll be just fine. Is that all right? You're going to be a good girl? Will you come over here? No, 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 no. Ring the bell, ring the bell. There we go. The bell is a noise that she likes. It makes a cute, cute little twinkly sound, and obviously it's pinkly. We don't have that many around anymore, so we don't have to worry about them attacking us at this moment. But Lucy. Um, no ma'am, come here. No, 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 no. Do me a favor, ring that bell. Ring the bell. Come on, come on, come on. Give a round of applause to Lucy. I'm gonna take her back inside before any more mayhem gets out of control. She can plug into her iPod and stick her headphones in. All right, come on, come on. You broke your chain all over the place. Later, Missy, you got some explaining to do. 
You got that? All right, good girl. You did a fabulous job. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's give another round of applause for Miss A. Oh, we go this way. My favorites, this is a set of teeth. Can anyone tell me who they think these belong to? T-Rex, very good job. Now the T-Rex was an enormous creature. He could be over 20 feet tall. He weighed tons and tons, and that's exactly why he did not fit in my car. But I'm gonna do the next best thing. You guys have met a couple of my babies today, very rambunctious, some of them, but I want you to be perhaps my biggest baby of all. And I mean that literally because <laughs> you can be a big baby. Sparky! Hi! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is my two-year-old baby T-Rex. His name is Sparky. Now, you know, he's about the same size as Lucy, but he's a lot younger than Lucy. He's going to get to be much, much bigger than Lucy. And there's nothing to be worried about because unlike Lucy, he's friendly. He doesn't know he's a dinosaur. He thinks he's a puppy, and we're not going to tell him anything different. Now, Sparky, will you do me a favor <laughs> and not throw me down? Will you look at everybody and smile? Can you look at everybody? Show them how nice you are. Show them your selfie face. <laughs> you can't be afraid of the selfie face people and he will be the one you're taking pictures with after the show so make sure you stick around. Now, you can also pay close attention to how small his teeth are compared to the full grown T-Rex tooth. Like I mentioned, he's only two. He's got a lot more growing to do and after that, I don't really know what I'm going to do with him because he's not going to fit in the house. Now, so I can see how tall you are, okay? No? Okay, now it's my fault. You're right. I'm sorry. One more time. Sparky, will you sit up, please? Really? <laughs> You're going to do this to me now. All right, okay, I think I know what's going on, though. I forgot to mention the tea right out of applause. Look at how tall you are. Good boy, good boy. Easy, easy. Good boy. All right, we have one more trick for you guys, and it's by far Sparky's favorite trick of all. It's not as glamorous as Lucy, but he loves to dance. I like so Sparky, dance. 